Hello, this is Dr. David Green, CEO of the Washington Pain Network. Today's topic is what you need to know about occipital nerve blocks. An occipital block is an injection of numbing medicine next to the occipital nerves, which are located on either side of the scalp, and they originate at the neck. So here's a cartoon showing the occipital nerves on both sides. They have a sensory function. They don't have any motor function. It's only sensation. There's a greater and a lesser one. The injection is designed to stop the pain from the following occipital neuralgia, cervicogenic headaches, or migraines. And they serve both a diagnostic and a therapeutic purpose. Occipital neuralgia can produce pain in one or both sides of the head. It can have a tender scalp. It can be an aching, burning, or throbbing pain. And patients may describe it as a sharp or an electrical shock in the back part of the head and neck. So those who can benefit from an occipital block, as mentioned, may include occipital neuralgia, uh, migraine sufferers, cervicogenic headaches, or any headache caused from the neck, and those are usually on one side, and also cluster headaches, are, which are one of the most painful headache types. The procedure is quick. It can be done in the office in just a few minutes. You don't need fluoroscopy. Um, you don't need sedation. Really, the pain doctor will feel the uh, most painful point at the base here, um, and that's where he or she knows where to put the uh, needle through. You can see you have uh, the greater occipital nerve and then the lesser occipital nerve. And essentially what the pain doctor will do is numb the skin and then put in the uh, needle and inject numbing medicine plus or minus some steroid. And it might just be one area or it might, they might try and incorporate both the greater and the lesser. How well does the procedure work? For such a quick and low risk procedure, it works very, very well. Uh, usually patients get pain relief within minutes. For cervicogenic headaches, 50 to 90 percent excellent uh, response rate averaging uh, between two to three months. Uh, cluster headaches, 85 percent response rate, four weeks to four months. For occipital neuralgia, 85 percent response rate for one to two months. And for migraine, 60 percent response rate averaging four to five weeks. If they work and then they wear off, these procedures can be re repeated you know, with the expectation of the same result on the next. When the pain relief wears off, what's next? Well, as mentioned, you can repeat the procedure or a person can do a pulsed or radiofrequency ablation, which is where the pain doctor will put a catheter in and then pulse thermal energy through these nerves, which as mentioned, no motor, only sensory. So those can provide pain relief for quite a bit longer time frame. There are no large term studies avail no large studies available for radiofrequency ablation, but small ones show that it works well. This is a very low risk procedure. Um, you might have some slight bleeding, could be an infection, allergic reaction. The needle doesn't go anywhere near the spinal canal, and the nerves being uh, treated are not motor, just sensory. There's no risk of a cerebrospinal fluid uh, leak or spinal cord injury. Top non-operative pain management is with the Washington Pain Network. There are multiple cl pain clinics throughout the state, accepting over 50 insurances and providing over 25 treatment options. Overall success rates average over 90% with the board-certified award-winning doctors. Visit us online today at WashingtonPainNetwork.com and then call us for more information and scheduling at 877-877-8. Five, five, six. I'm Dr. David Green with the Washington Pain Network. Your pain stops here.